landslides, and debris flow. Landslides, also known as mudslides and debris flow, may occur in all parts of the United States and can be caused by a variety of factors, including earthquakes, storms, and fires. Landslides can occur quickly, often with little notice. The best way to plan for a mudslide is to stay informed about changes in and around your home and area that could signal that a landslide is likely to occur. Look for changes in landscape and water drainage or new cracks in foundations and sidewalks. Prepare for landslides by following proper land use procedures. Avoid building near steep slopes or along natural erosion valleys. Consult a professional for advice on appropriate preventative measures for your home or business, such as flexible pipe fittings, which can better resist breakage. Stay informed. Local authorities may not immediately be able to provide information on what is happening and what you should do. However, you should listen to NOAA Weather Radio, watch TV, listen to the radio, or check the internet often for official news and instructions as they become available. Landslide and debris flow. Mudslide. Landslides occur in all U.S. states and territories. In a landslide, masses of rock, earth, or debris move down a slope. Landslides may be small or large, slow or rapid. They are activated by storms, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, fires, alternate freezing or thawing, and steepening of slopes by erosion or human modification. Debris and mud flows are rivers of rock, earth, and other debris saturated with water. They develop when water rapidly accumulates in the ground during heavy rainfall or rapid snowmelt, changing the earth into a flowing river of mud or slurry. They can flow rapidly, striking with little or no warning at avalanche speeds. They also can travel several miles from their source, growing in size as they pick up trees, boulders, cars, and other materials. Landslide problems can be caused by land mismanagement, particularly in mountain canyon, and coastal regions. In areas burned by forest and brush fires, a lower threshold of precipitation may initiate landslides. Land use zoning, professional inspections, and proper design can minimize many landslide, mud flow, and debris flow problems. Protect yourself from the effects of a landslide or debris flow. 
Do not build near steep slopes, close to mountain edges, near drainage ways, or natural erosion valleys. Get a ground assessment of your property. Contact local officials, state geological surveys or departments of natural resources, and university departments of geology. Landslides occur where they have before and in identifiable hazard locations. Ask for information on landslides in your area, specific information on areas vulnerable to landslides, and request a professional referral for a very detailed site analysis of your property and corrective measures you can take if necessary. If you are at risk from a landslide, talk to your insurance agent. Debris flow may be covered by flood insurance policies from the National Flood Insurance Program, NFIP. Minimize home hazards. Have flexible pipe fittings installed to avoid gas or water leaks, as flexible fittings are more resistant to breakage. Only the gas company or professionals should install gas fittings. Plant ground cover on slopes and build retaining walls. In mud flow areas, build channels or deflection walls to direct the flow around buildings. Remember, if you build walls to divert debris flow and the flow lands on a neighbor's property, you may be liable for damages.